Welcome to Science 4, where learning becomes easy once we explore. I am your science teacher, Teacher Alisa L. Likawa from Pouna Bayabo North District, Division of Land Order Suwar. Join me in another journey to discover the secret of the world of science. Today, we will be discussing the major organs to work together. Our body is composed of different body organs which perform important functions. They work together in order to make the body function properly. So, keeping them healthy is important. The human body contains organs that are considered vital for survival. They are the stomach, intestines, heart, brain, kidneys, and lungs. Stomach is a sac-like container of food made from involuntary muscle. It contracts and relaxes in order to digest food. Foods are squeezed, stirred, and twisted in the stomach. Intestines are found inside of our body which are long, continuous tube running from the stomach to the anus. The nutrients and water absorption mostly happen in the intestines. This include the small and large intestine and rectum. Heart. The heart is located in the center of the chest and its function is to keep blood flowing through the body. Blood carries substances to cells that they need and also carries away waste from cells. Brain. The brain is located in the head and function as the body's control center. It is the seat of all thoughts, memories, perceptions, and feelings. Brain The brain controls what you think and feel, how you learn and remember, and the way you move and talk. But it also controls things you're less aware of, like the beating of your heart and the digestion of your food. Kidney. The two kidneys are located in the back of the abdomen on either side of the body. Their function is to filter blood and form urine, which is excreted from the body. Lungs. The two lungs are located on either side of the upper chest. Their main function is to exchange oxygen and carbon dioxide with the blood. Digestive system. Its part of your digestive system helps to move food and liquid through your gastrointestinal tract, break food and liquid into smaller parts or both. Once foods are broken into small enough parts, your body can absorb and move the nutrients to where they are needed. Heart and Lungs the heart and lungs work together to make sure the body has the oxygen-rich blood it needs to function properly. Pulmonary loop The pulmonary loop is responsible for the oxygen-poor blood from the body and moves it to the lungs for cleaning and reoxygenating while the systemic loop once the blood is reoxygenated the left side of the heart moves the blood throughout the body so that every part receives the oxygen it needs. Let's do this! Read and analyze each sentence. Number 1. How do the heart and lungs work together? A. The lungs help the heart to pump blood. B. The heart provides nutrients to the lungs. C. 
The lungs help the heart provide nutrients to the body. D. The heart pumps the blood to the different body parts while the lungs filter the blood before going back to the heart. If your answer is letter D, you're correct. The heart pumps the blood to the different body parts while the lungs filter the blood before going back to the heart. Number 2. Stomach and the brain are related to each other. In what way are they connected? A. The stomach provides blood to the brain. B. The stomach provides oxygen to the brain. C. The brain removes the waste of the stomach. D. The brain controls the involuntary muscles of the stomach. If your answer is letter D, you're correct. The brain controls the involuntary muscles of the stomach. Number 3. When you are in danger, your muscles move as fast as you can to protect yourself. How does this happen? A. Your lungs control your muscles to move fast. B. Your stomach commands your muscles to work rapidly. C. Your brain reacts to the situation which results to rapid muscles movement. D. Your heart tells you to react by controlling the movement of your muscles. If your answer is letter C, you're correct. Your brain reacts to the situation which results to rapid muscle movement. Number 4. Your friend had an accident which damaged his brain. After the accident, he cannot move both of his legs. Why did this happen? A. Your legs cannot anymore detect your brain. B. The part of your legs connected to the brain was damaged. C. The part of your brain commands your legs to stop moving. D. The part of your brain that controls leg movement was affected. If your answer is letter D, you're correct. The part of your brain that controls leg movement was affected. Number 5. How do stomach and intestines work together? A. The stomach receives the nutrients and water from the intestines. B. The stomach absorbs the nutrients and water from the food digested by the intestines. C. The stomach digests the food while the intestine removes the undigested food out of the human body. D. The stomach squeeze, churn, and twist the food while the intestines absorb the water and nutrients. If your answer is letter D, you're correct. The stomach squeeze, churn, and twist the food while the intestines absorb the water and nutrients. Number 6. How do the lungs work together with the other organs of the body? The lungs provide lung. A. Oxygen needed by the brain. B. Nutrients needed by the heart. C. Food needed by the stomach. D. Blood needed by the stomach. If your answer is letter A, you're correct. Oxygen needed by the brain. Number 7. What do you think will happen if your heart will not pump blood? A. The brain will not function properly. B. The kidneys will not have blood to be filtered. C. The lungs will not be able to produce oxygen rich blood. D. All of this. If your answer is letter D, you're correct. All of this. Number 8. Raisa always eats salty foods and drinks soda. Her kidneys fail to function. Which of the following are the effects of this to the other organs of the body? A. The kidneys can regulate blood pressure well. B. 
The kidneys can filter waste materials from blood which can be used by other organs of the body. C. The waste from the different organs and parts of the body will not be excreted as urine. D. Both A and B. If your answer is letter C, you're correct. The waste from the different organs and parts of the body will not be excreted as urine. Number 9. Which of the following statements is true? A. The heart controls the brain functions. B. The brain controls the involuntary muscles of the heart. C. The lungs provide carbon dioxide rich blood to the heart. D. The kidneys filters excrete the blood produced by the lungs. If your answer is letter B, you're correct. The brain controls the involuntary muscles of the heart. Number 10. The following statements are true, except blank. A. All body organs have different functions that are not related with each other. B. The brain controls the functions of the heart, lungs, kidneys, and other body organs. C. If one organ of the body will not function properly, other body parts will also be affected. D. All body organs have different functions and are in constant communication with one another. If your answer is letter A, you're correct. All body organs have different functions that are not related with each other. Great job, young scientist! Once again, this is your teacher, Teacher Alan. Basta ka tiodi, kabawsa, at alino. Till next, joining. Goodbye!